All right, we live. All right, um, Shalawan. First and foremost, we're going to give our praise to Yahweh, 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 which is to say our praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son as well. Ignorant because God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. All right, Yahweh, He is, He exists, Yahweh, in the name of, and Yahweh, He is. Okay. Again, give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, truly to the law of Israel on earth today. Whether you can receive it or not, much love, salutation to the oxen that are brought across the four corners of the earth, pushing his word, and sincerely and in truth, risking a lot of spirit to do so. All right, and uh, we'll sit back speaking about, you know, current events, things taking place as far as prophecy. All right, um, you had a, a recent shoot in San Jose, California. That left about eight people dead. All right, that was a uh, recent talks within this past 24 hours. And now you got the President Biden talking about coming with gun reform laws, which we, they've been talking about this for years, man. And in so many words, we're seeing that, that uh, Esau are pretty much taking more people's rights. All right, what's another right that's been taken away? You know, uh, freedom of speech, public expression, you know, freedom, uh, of travel. freedom of travel. That's right, that's a good point, good point, perfect point. Because uh, there was a situation going on right now. In Malaysia, that's another various topic. In Malaysia right now, there uh, the brother put the article in from Newsbreak talking about you're only able to spend about two hours in the retail center, okay? And they they call it MCO. I got a little bit of terminology for uh, MCO, but it deals with, like restraint, you know. It deals with like restraint, man. You know, restraining your access to certain areas. So yeah, this is all prophecy in the making, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, you got a lot again going on in earth, man. So if you can just sit that's a little bit enough. It's uh Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And I had got a uh blue letter with me to the Greek, uh the word uh perilous says uh uh It says hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh. Fierce, savage, man. Can you, you read know? that verse again one more time? Yeah, sure. Uh, this Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Right, and that's what I was mentioning. The, the terminology of MCO it says Malaysian Movement Control Order. All right, and again that's them uh, being restrained from being able to have access and travel to certain places that they wish. Man. All right, this is all prophecy in the making because the scriptures do talk about. How they shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is all prophecy. And as your brother was mentioning, the perilous times that shall come, man, these dangerous times that's upon this place, man. All right, is it, hey, man, uh, what did they just do? In Texas, they just passed a law saying that you don't even need a permit. You can have a yeah, you can have a handgun. You, you know, no you can concern. still carry. Yeah, no training, no right. type of background checks. You see, so we see which way this is all headed, man. Yeah, and it's only gonna lead to more violence, man. Like, like we already see the mass shootings in this society. Like, brother, love, bring up Patricia about uh, they do this in the green tree, basically. Back when, I, every, I get it. yeah, come on, because you know everything is still so called in order. It's still like a society, so to speak. It's still like so called consequence for your action. You know, you get so called get arrested, etc. So how much more when like we see the uh. Global uh, supply chain breaking, et cetera, et cetera. How much more would this, this lack of food, man? All them people want them guns. You know, they, they're not going to care for the permit in that day, man. All right. They just going to be coming at each other. There's more guns in America than people. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Numbers, I don't know the ratio, mm -hmm. the exact ratio, but it's, it's more guns in America on the people. And that's going to um, further um, escalate the division between these Edomites as well. Because you got Edomites is pro gun carrying toting, you know what I'm saying? Rifle slinging, <laughs> gun toting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mother Elfers, man. Yeah. You know, and, and then you, you got other Edomites, you know, that's, you know, they, you know, and that's, they, that's the blessing of these devils, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, of course, there's going to be some resistance, right? See, these devils, these, these brave Edomites in a position of authority, the ones who think they, the Illuminati, like, you know, everybody referred to them as, man. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father got these damn, damn demons in a trick bag, man. Right. You know, because they think if they, you know, come out with some law or mandate or legislation that the people going to, you know, automatically, you know what right. I'm saying, right. uh, consent to it. Right. He, he, he gun told, especially in Texas, bro. Right. The brother was talking about Texas. Texas. Texas is a football state and a gun state. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In Texas. 
And that's a spirit because that Texas is the one that is doing this because Texas want to secede from the United States England. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the, the you know, the, uh, the, the, the movie, uh, uh, what Bush, Bushwick? Yeah. Why? Bushwick. That's all that movie was about. Some of these other states, specifically southern states, that wanted to see these other fucking these liberal states, if you will. Yeah. You know? But yeah, yeah you got uh, uh, that you quoted, I'm gonna start with that. Luke 23 and 28. It says, But Yahweh shot turning unto them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep mm -hmm. not for me, but weep for yourselves mm -hmm. and for your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the time that's coming, like the brother said, is perilous times. Right. 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 It's no dangerous. Like, go back into that word yeah, about right, right, right here. It is. We're perilous. It's hard to bear. God said, uh, 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 Kalepos. It says, Hard to bear. Hard to bear, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's going to, that, that, that's going to be a difficult, that's going to be difficult to endure, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be difficult to, you know, to make it through hard times. Yeah. <laughs> hard to bear, troublesome. Dangerous, food. yeah, Hard. dangerous, right? Because the right. brother was talking about the food supply, the global supply, right. food supply breaking, and these right. niggas got all these guns. That's right. right. So it's gonna be dangerous. It's gonna be a uh, survival of the fittest. So man for himself. There you right. go, brothers. So like, yeah, you know, hey, bro, you know, you know, know, overnight you just had a shooting here in Cleveland. The guy ran into a fire hydrant after he getting shot. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, you just had a shooting somewhere in Ohio, one of these small rural towns in Ohio. Four people was dead in the apartment. Mm. And they say it ain't been a murder in their town since 2012. Yeah. So that ain't a coincidence. It's not. And then four people, four, that's mercy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't significant numbers. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. Yeah, things are picking up, man. That's right. That's right. 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 It said, uh, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, mm -hmm. harsh, fierce, savage, man. <laughs> that's why the scripture said, what he said, we harsh. not for me, right. but we for yourselves, man. Right. All right. It says, and for your children, for behold, the days are coming. In the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs with that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Man. Because you're going to have people, women going into labor during these perilous times. Right. Right. Picture that. Okay. That's going to be a hard to bear situation. You got a, a nine month, about to you know, have a child. You got a baby that's in you, man. Right. All right. And it's all kind of war going on. Man. Right. Yeah. And then. Even to add on that point, to respond on that point, to land back on you, bro. You know, women who, who uh, what is it, um, who carry? Yeah. They got to get a certain amount of calories in right. order to even produce breast milk. Right. right. And the majority of these women know breast feed in the way. A right. majority of these, you know, women milk, they milk supply dry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it goes on. That's just going to add on until, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that, that, uh, misery. That misery. Okay, yeah, that's right. Luke 23 and 30. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. Because you're going to have select people who got, you know, a few resources. They may have bunkers, things of that nature. They got these con boxes that you see on the back of these trucks and trains that you can rent or buy for like $6,000 and repurpose for, you know, bomb mm -hmm. shelters and whatnot. Man. You know, like I said, saying what to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. It says, for if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And right now, you still have things in the bunch. You still got running water. All right, because scriptures do talk about the water shall be still. You still got running water. You still got uh, access to necessities such as food, such as water, such as resources, you know, tissue, things of that nature, man. All right, but what you going to do when all that dry up, like the chicken shortage, the chicken wing shortage, mm -hmm. the famine, the shortage of gas, you can't get around like you normally used to, man. What you going to do in that time, man? All right, that's how you know perilous times is really upon us because people doing quote unquote B and E's breaking in. Enterings and, and kick those while this is all going on still. While this, you know, peace, quote unquote, so all to right. speak, man. Right. It ain't really evil out here in the streets. So imagine when it's a lawless society, man. Right. What do you think they made the movie, those, those, uh, that damn trilogy of the movie Purge? Yeah. Would you think that was just for right. entertainment, bro? Right. To just entertain people? No, it's subliminal messages in these movies that these devils be releasing, man. Yeah. It ain't for your entertainment. And no. spirit, they coming out with a new purge too. Yeah, it's called, Bro. It's called the forever purge. Yeah. Basically, yeah, when the purge don't end, it's keep yeah. on going. Man, that's, that's beautiful, bro. Yeah. And like I said, these subliminal messages that these devils are giving them to the people, but our people, you know what I'm saying? They they yeah. full of that that uh uh you know they full of the philosophies of the Edomites, man. You know? And that's facts, because they start making movies like the Hunger Games, but there it is, they put it in the title itself, yeah. the Hunger, Hunger Games, Games, man. Showing you for one, it's a game to these elite 
you know, the because uh, they were about to come up with the movie. I remember they stopped it. Remember, they were, they were, I forget the, the, the title of it, but it had pretty much dealing with the upper echelon and they get all these different poor people from all over and they put them on this little remote island mm -hmm. and make them pretty much, you know, fight to the death. And it's that's like called a, a hunt. It's like, it's like yeah, the hunt. The hunt. That's, yep, the, that's the movie, Koala. Yeah. The hunt. Mm -hmm. And they and then they make them all, you know, pretty much have survival to the fittest, man. It's like a joke on the game to them, man. It's a sport for fool and new mischief, man. But nevertheless, I got this quick precept because you were quoting the movie, this Isaiah 42 and 9. That's why they say this too. And the reason why these Edomites, these upper echelon, these, you know, the elite of Esau, Edom, they look at you people like savages. You know what I'm saying? They they don't look at you like the like they look at the the, the Edomite that's to the right of them, you know what I'm saying? In the chamber of commerce, mm -hmm. just for an example, man. They look at average citizens like you people on a low level. Because the information that they and the knowledge and the wisdom that they possess, you know what I'm saying? They don't look at people <laughs> as the, the same, man. They Esau look at people in categories. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me get this. This is Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Mm -hmm. And all the time she tell you a lot of truth hidden in plain sight in a lot of these movies. A lot of these uh, music videos, all right? I remember we went into that Quavo. It was a minute ago. We went into yeah, that. That bubblegum? Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and, and more. Music videos, uh, rap songs, you know, all this different media outlets, man. It's a lot of truth hidden in plain sight, symbolism and whatnot, man. All right? right. The Heavenly Father said, before they spring forth, I'll tell you of them, because on the left-hand side, you got that aspect. But on right. the right-hand side, you got the prophets, man. And there we go. That's right, because that's how the Heavenly Father, before these prophecies spring forth, the Heavenly Father said, what? Give them warning. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. he said. He sent his prophets uh, 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 rising up B time, saying, right. do this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, right, that's ultimately the, the, the prophets, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and, and the brothers who put this word in, in truth and sincerity, man. All right. That's how the Heavenly Father uh, uh, tell you these things before they come to pass. Right. Because that's what the word prophecy means. Mm -hmm. Right. Prophecy means basically to, to prophesy means to say something before. It, that's right. right. To foretell for to foreshadow something to come or foretelling of what's to come. We go into the word prophecy as well. Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, I got that one. Out, man. This is second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. It say, woe to the world. And them mm -hmm. that dwell therein, mm -hmm. for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 going back to all those um, the, 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 the gun, the mm -hmm. gun laws, mm -hmm. people um, getting more weapons. Even when um, the pandemic first started, you had the um, the, the gun um, stores. They the mines was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. so people still got those guns still out here. On top of that, you got Esau and people like that that know these things is coming. That's preparing uh -huh. for it. Mm -hmm. And so when it happened, um, but when, when, when it happened, um, everybody just go come against each other. They go fight against each other. Mm -hmm. I want to chime in real fast. Speed up what you're gonna say. It's just this article that was put up in Cleveland yesterday. It says running van with over 900 rounds of ammo inside stolen. From outside Cleveland Pizza Shop, it says police say that was over on the east side, over off the Superior. Man, you got you it. Know, to all these different things that brothers don't use. That's what creating mm -hmm. a great anxiety, man. Like the brother said earlier about the society, about being in, in, in order, so to speak. Like you can walk down the street and you're not like worried about someone trying to kill you. You may you may be aware of your surroundings, so to speak, but look around, but you don't think like you know people trying to kill me because I got uh, 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 some snacks on me, you know. Right. Like mm -hmm. it comes to a time where it's like literally like everyone, you got even a little bit of food, you can be a target, man. Right. Like water. exactly you said water, all, all, all the people, all these different weapons, etc. Everyone's gonna be at each other, man. You see someone down the street, you might get straight up running because you don't know what, what type right. of time they're on, you know what I'm saying? You could be walking up the street just with clothes on you. Yeah, somebody right. killing you for your clothes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you right now. Right. right. That's spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, robbing niggas for they uh, you know, like when they had the Averex coats mm -hmm. in the nineties uh -huh. and shit. The NBA, the logo, uh, the leather coats and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's the type you know, robbing people for their sneakers, you know, for their goose down uh, winter coats and things. They be doing, they was doing that. They still do it to the bank. Snatch a nigga chain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They mm -hmm. quick free. Second Edges 1517, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the 
houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, these are the prophecies that we're seeing that's about to soon take place. All right, you're going to have uh, checkpoints. You're going to have barricades. Huh. All right, you're going to have cities uh, shut off from entrance, man. Right. Okay. Yeah, cunt. Huh. Because of their pride. That's right. The city's going to be troubled. You're going to have shortages of food. Trust ain't going to be able to enter to replenish these supermarkets, man. Bro, they give you the scenario in all these mm -hmm. apocalyptic mm -hmm. movies, right? Yep. Which, that's the Greek word for revelation. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, yeah, apocalypse. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Apocalypse, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But going back to what the brother Bacar was talking about with the guns and stuff, if you look at the... um the, the um the, the buying, if you will, of the guns in 2020, that was the, that was the like it was a lot of first time buyers that bought yeah, a weapon in yeah, 2020 yeah. when that whole shit happened. Yeah, like you know, like a, a large percentage of women is that was their first time yeah, ever yeah, buying a yeah. strap. Yeah. Yeah. In 2020, <laughs> when the plan when the pandemic had uh, started, kind of. You yeah. know, if I could chat, if I could chime in and let me talk to you too, you just had uh. It was another recent incident because they always advertised it on like the Rivers page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your CCW, get your CCW, man. It was another recent incident of uh, uh oh yeah, George Floyd. It's been an anniversary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they shot it up. Yeah, it was yeah, a drive-by. Yeah, it was. A, it, it got it got shot up, man. Yeah, oh no, man. Right the Lord shortened the days for the Lexus. Go ahead. Uh. Speaking on guns, you know it's a manhunt right now for a, a road raid incident. Mm -hmm. It's just one, I'm speaking on two, but it's one where a six year old little boy he got shot. Yep. He, he lost his life. You know what I'm saying? Involved with um, gun violence. If you were right. So the the the, the, uh, the 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 percentage of gun violence is going to shoot through the roof. And then it was another dude in a Maserati. Say that one. Yeah. You see the one that dude with yeah. the Maserati and the bitch cut him off yep. and cut out and started clapping. Turn with two kids yep. in, the, in the car. He yep. didn't give a damn. He got out and started dumping on her. But after her in the shoulder, pulled off and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's got, got a little. Still a lord. So, uh, mm -hmm. one precept real fast, second Edwards 15 to 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Ooh, Ooh man, man, bro. They go right to no the, mercy, what brother no pity, and all in general. No compassion. But those few examples that brothers just gave, you know what I'm saying? That's right in line with the prophecies that is written in the Holy Scriptures, man. Yep. The word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Uh, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And right. Brother was talking about B and E's, right? Yeah. You got something on this kick though. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, the, the one viral one with the Instagram mother. When they when they ran in her shit, you know, she shooting up in there. Man, Pop Smoke just got killed. That oh, yeah, yeah, man. He said he was in the shower and the dude was on like 15. Yeah, it was like a Rolex. Yeah, Rolex. Yeah, yeah, man. These these young dudes out here, man, the Lord put the spirit on, man. That's when one's gonna be killing a lot more, more, a lot of people, man. It says and spoiled their goods mm -hmm. because of the lack of bread of a great tribulation. Mm -hmm. We told y'all this time was coming, man. We the prophets here at Great Millstone. We told you, look, Jacob's trouble is coming, perilous times is upon this place, tribulation. All right, that these prophecies gonna happen. Great miseries, man. If your brothers got preachers, y'all can get them. But yeah, man, we told y'all that this would happen, man. If y'all gotta go ahead, yeah. It's uh, Jeremiah said the twenty-eight verse eight. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we see that too as well. You know, you pay attention to the news. There's a lot of uh, you know different tensions, different tit for tat, you know, petty different things going on between these different nations, man. China in the U.S., Russia in the U.S., Iran versus uh, you know Amalek over there. There's a lot that we see the the, the different uh, uh, war brewing up. The Lord moved, uh, putting the chess piece on the board, so to speak, mm -hmm. when that final uh, the, uh, great judgment, man, World War Three, Armageddon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it said, what a, an evil and a pestilence. The brother's just going into about the evil times that's coming. You no, know? time of a lack of bread. You no, know? well, tribulation. Yeah, it's tribulation. Come on, you have to go get that word definition. Tribulation too. Right, and we always yeah. bring out the point that evil is a compound word. And mm -hmm. evil in the time, ill meaning bad. So that's what's coming to this place. Bad times. Right. That right. goes into that Timothy as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That evil and mm -hmm. bad times, that's that, that, that go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. huh. huh. Real quick, this definition of tribulation. It says tribulation, a cause of great trouble or suffering, a state of great trouble or suffering. So again, mm -hmm. like brother said, oh, that's a spirit too. Like I said earlier about you know, when these different calamities start happening. That people are going to have anxiety, they're going to be confused. I know what's going on. But yeah, one of the different uh, synonyms for tribulation is anxiety. Man. Mm -hmm. So, again, like, yeah, that's what that means. I want to chime in on that because I got yeah. it here on the phone line and one of the dictionary. It says a state of affliction or oppression, suffering, distress, 
uh, trouble or affliction, it mm-hmm. says to press. Mm-hmm. And when it said to press, I immediately thought about the together of God. That mm-hmm. the brother mentions often that pressure from above mm-hmm. and below. Now, why else you think people, you said there was a spike yesterday of people getting a jab because they want to get that yeah. million dollars. 45% yeah. They feeling that, they feeling that pressure, that tribulation, mm-hmm. that oppression from above and below to where they start to make these rash decisions that they want to normally make. Mm-hmm. All because they want to get back to that quote unquote normalcy, which ain't real normal thing. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. So it said yeah. what affliction, oppression, mm-hmm. you know? The brother, uh, uh, um, that's how you know that, um, um, it's gonna be people begging Esau to take that chip. Uh, you know, yeah. I remember Apostle Tahart was saying um, when they had them chips and everything, um, how Jake be in the long lines and stuff like that. He, he, he said you're gonna have people that's gonna be fighting in the line mm-hmm. so, so they could get up front and take the chip. Mm-hmm. Um, this is um, Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. They say, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Time and going back to what the, the scripture the brother put out, second Ezra, you know, it said that the, the great tribulation will come on these people because of their pride, because yeah. pride is what's um, making these people continue in their wickedness. Yeah. You know, it said pride is the um, one step from um, the part from a man's creator would be pride. Yeah. Yeah. Pride, pride mm-hmm. is the man's part apart from the Lord. Yeah. 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 Calm. Yeah. So, and so um, they're they going to continue doing wickedness. So by them continue doing wickedness, uh, hey, people not gonna have um that love for each other no more. Right. The law is about yeah, showing my love to your brother. Yeah, you know, but people not gonna do it. The Lord gonna uh, harden their hearts, right. like He did with Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? So using Him as an example, you know what I'm saying? How the the, the um His feelings towards the Israelites, the Heavenly Father gonna harden these people's hearts, right? right. But Christian, uh, what you doing with that? Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in the evil. So he's talking about how they continue to do it. All right, come It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not for the most high, you see, and that's why, like you said, man, a uh, sinner do evil 100 days and the day be prolonged. Hey, man, if it, his latter end is not going to be blessed, man, mm-hmm. or he's going to be destroyed. All right, Esau, Edom, mm-hmm. and everyone that's joined into the system, man. Okay, uh, and that's the spirit because me and the brother was talking about that on the way here. Mm-hmm. Oh, how you may be thinking you be receiving mercy because right then and there, you're not getting judged for it, or you're not, you know, getting the discipline, you're not getting the uh punishment. For your actions, you think you get mercy, but you know, all this time the Lord got a greater judgment. He just letting you dig your own grave, which is actually like a scary thing for you. Right. You know, because you never know what the most high got in store, what he got in plan. You know, just like with his his prophecy. We the Lord set up his prophets to warn the people, okay, but at the same time the Lord made two thirds uh um Stiff neck, so that they, they can't receive it. Mm-hmm. So they can receive that judgment at the later end. So the Lord letting them party and bullshit now, have your fun now, continuing your wickedness. All right, so when that day come, you you won't have no excuses. You know, the scriptures say that the this word must be preached, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing throughout the four corners, then the end must come. So can't no Jake have no excuse. Oh, I didn't know that was, I didn't know. Or I was an Israelite to do all of these laws that you commit. Because the truth is everywhere now, man. Everywhere. You right. got brothers waking up everywhere, teaching in all different types of languages, teaching in different platforms of the internet. So ain't no excuse. You either you either gonna get with the truth, or right, or you're gonna continue to live like you did, which is wicked. Anything that you're doing contrary to the scriptures is wicked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quick, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is in Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil mm-hmm. and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. See, that's what the Lord has a problem with. He has a problem with the, the wickedness that's going on. He has a problem with the evil that is upheld and highly esteemed in this world. Are you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah? 
that name, those names are not being reverenced. They're not being praised. They're not being held at a high regard in this society because of Esau and Edom, man, which is that arrogancy and that proud that the Lord is going to take away from this devil. Uh, the Lord is going to take away the wisdom and knowledge from Esau and Edom. So he can't access those left-hand spirits. So then he's just going to be naked. And then the Lord is going to expose Esau for all the wickedness he's done. The people going to turn against him. The other nations going to turn against him. So Esau, he's going to be brought low. Where is that going to lead the rest of the people who follow and trusted in, in Esau in this society? They're mm -hmm. going to fall right along with him, man. Right. And the yeah. only ones that's going to be uh, sustained and stable is the men who trusted in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah and basically fulfilled prophecy, man. Yeah, Isaiah 30, I think it's 30. Isaiah 33 and 6. Listen no, I'm talking me. about what he was talking about, about anybody who joined hand in hand with Esau. Oh, oh God, yeah. 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 He had yeah. help him, so, and he yeah. had hope in it to, yeah. they both shall fail to get us. Right. 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 You know, it's found on what the brother was talking about. You know, and the elect, you know what I'm saying, they going to depend on the Heavenly Father anyway, right? You know? Right. We're gonna get we're gonna close with that Timothy where we started with all of Yeah, y'all okay. got yeah. I got one more man. Where's the Messiah, man? This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 19. Right. It yeah. says, For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Okay. If it's an unrighteous, a dark generation, like the house of all of the generation. Mm -hmm. So it says, The end is going to be horrible because it seems all good now. Or you get to go kick, you get to smoke, you get to go party and do this, make money, do all this folly, and it all seems good mm -hmm. for the moment. But once Everything locked down again, and there's troops on the street. It's robots on the streets. It's animals on the street. There's no food, no water, no shelter. Yeah. It's civil unrest. All oh, that's gonna go out the window, hey. and they ain't gonna have no substance to depend on. There's gonna be a whole lot of hopelessness. Uh -huh. You know, you're gonna hear the new fucking voices. Mm -hmm. I gonna crack. Man. All that pride gonna be gone. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a land bearing of faith, man. Uh -huh. Except for those that seek and serve you, how about you now? This is a land bearing of faith. Uh, it said the mighty man shall cry bitterly. Right. They go cry bitterly, so they go screaming, screaming their tongues out. You know, mm -hmm. screaming, screaming their lungs out. Mm -hmm. You know, because just, just crying, don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like there was a woman. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard, to, it's hard to be proud. You ain't age. Done. Done. Cause uh, you'll be wrap it up. You have anything else, Mark? Yeah, I know that. This is um, man, hard. Yeah, you got it. You got it off. It's uh, Second Timothy chapter three and verse one again. It said, and that's the spirit because before it says Paul warns the stressful times. You know, you know, the spirit. I ain't heard it. Nobody you know, different claiming this stuff. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Right, and then Paul, he Apostle Paul, he even go expound on why. Uh, why? <laughs> I mean, well, well, the reason as to why is because of how the people was acting. Verse 2, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Mm -hmm. Right, they lovers of themselves, right. Like yeah. uh, Shamar was just speaking about how they don't reverence the name of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. They don't fear the name of the Heavenly Father. They don't acknowledge, they don't praise. So like you praise the name of the Heavenly Father. Even in, even in Israel, you got it talking about the name of the Tower of Yeah, yeah. You got right. to put respect on the holy name. Like, yeah, you know, right. Holy name. Mm -hmm. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah, you're right. Covetous. Mm -hmm. yeah, Those won't want what everybody else got. Right. And that's mainly what our people. They ain't satisfied with the hand that they was doing. Right. They want what everybody else got. You know what right. I'm saying? Come on. See, we don't want what everybody else got. No, we got something that don't everybody else have. Right. Yeah, yeah, a church, church. Are, 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 are a heavenly church. Right. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? We, we right. going into that yesterday. Yeah. We got. Uh, yeah. We set our treasures on. You know, our. Uh, we set our our things above, right. not things on the on the earth. Right. And like the Lord said, uh, where your treasure is, yeah. so this is our treasure, man. We don't want nothing on this earth because right. this is temporary. Right. This is temporal, man. This ain't. This, this ain't. This ain't eternal. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We don't want no house. We ain't trying to, we ain't trying to make it get a fucking house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And start a fucking business. Yeah. I mean, if brothers do that, you better believe they still don't give a shit about that shit, bro. So, like, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm about to say here, yeah, because I, I was talking to somebody earlier. He's going to hit me with, 
um, oh, you missing out. Mm -hmm. Like, missing out on what? It's, it's nothing in the world to miss out on. Huh. Like, no, nigga, you missing out on this truth. You know, right. getting these breakdowns, learning, you're boosting your faith up mm -hmm. so you can get through the time of trouble mm -hmm. and you receive salvation. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 4 and 20. Observe the opportunity. Why? Because it ain't going to always be there. See, the scriptures talk about in the book of Amos 8 and 11 about the family of the word. Which is what we're seeing yeah. coming because this devil yeah. is coming up against not only our channels, but your freedom of speech and expression of your uh, belief. Yeah, it, it, well, like the Lord, like the, like Isaiah said, he take away the right of the poor of my people. So right. that, that's basically what the devil is trying to do, take away our God-given right from yeah. Yeah. to proclaim and, you know what I'm saying, that we the, the children of the Lord to pray these right. scriptures yeah. out. To preach these scriptures, like Lord said, what is that to, to, to declare about that? See, y'all don't got that to do here. <laughs> right. We supposed to be doing it. This, right. this, 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 that's our heritage. This is the type of shit we do. We talk about the Lord all the time. That's yeah. a commandment. The Lord, we, you know, in Deuteronomy, the Lord said, we, this is what we supposed to talk about. We wake up, sit on our, put on our bed, yeah. all that. Right. So, yeah, we, we, we try to take our right what the Heavenly Father gave us to, to even proclaim this man to, to, to publicly profess his word and our heritage and the names of the Heavenly Father. The devil got to go. It said, it said in the book of Ezra that yeah. he troubled us in building. Yeah, it's uh, right. In the book yeah. of Ezra, yeah. I believe it's like the fourth chapter. Yeah. It talks about how he, uh, you know, troubled us in building. <clears throat> okay, weaken the hands of Judah. Okay, hire counselors against them to frustrate his purpose. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what they do still to this day. Yeah. They try to frustrate a hurt, but like the scriptures say, you can do nothing against the truth before us. They say what? Uh, uh, Sirach 4 and 20. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil. And be not ashamed when it concerns thy soul. You got people that's ashamed of the Lord. Mm -hmm. This concerns your soul, your well-being, man. Because scripture say, what? Well, we shall weep, we shall reap. All right, if we faint not. Mm -hmm. All right, this well doing, this work that's that's good work, man. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, might as well make it fun real quick. But Bakari said, uh, you know that uh, you know Jacob the Lord said uh, you missing out. Really, mm -hmm. you Jacob missing out on mercy, man. That's what excuse to say you hold God fast without hands, and no man mm -hmm. take that crown. We hold on to the hope of mercy, man. Because we have, we have hope that we talk about these calamities, people be like, no, what are y'all going to do when they have it? Right. We have hope how about she going to have mercy on us in that day. Okay? Right. Y'all going to just be asked out. Y'all going to have you through, uh, right. confused. You right. can see you right. can see that in the way brothers preach, yeah, in the yeah. confidence and the boldness that right. brothers preach. Yeah. Brothers already got in their spirit like, hey, I got enough faith yeah. that when I trust in the Lord, I'm going to be good. Yeah. You know, so for, for a nigga to say, well, what you on? You on American soil too, Hey, we got the names that y'all about to show me on the shot, man. Right. As long as we stay faithful to him, then, hey, we know ain't nothing too, you know, heavy for the Lord to handle. Exactly, because it's mainly, a, it's going to be a mental thing. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what it's going to be. You ain't see another get your head break. You, you might be your child break, blowed out. Right. Whatever, man. Right. You somebody, you lose somebody that's close to you, you feel right. what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? A loved one, whatever the case right. may be. If you don't got this word and this wisdom and this comforter, uh, you know, for the Heavenly Father, then that shit will bug you out, bro. Right. That's what happened to a majority of men you see out here digging out the trash can and shit. Yeah. They done been through some shit. They, they don't have the wisdom to understand it, to process as to why this shit happened and why I'm going through this. Mm -hmm. They bug the fuck out. Right. You know? It's Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times right. and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is his treasure. That's the point. Yeah. The fear, and that's the spirit, because I had this precept. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go here. Yeah. But since he read that, he said, he said, the fear what? The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is his treasure. Yeah. That's, that's our treasure right there. You know? We were talking about that just a minute ago. You know what I'm saying? But he said, the fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is his treasure, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It says, uh, this is Sirach 25 and 10. Oh, how great is he! That findeth wisdom, yet is there none above him that fear for the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get all the wisdom that you want. Nigga. If you ain't fear the Heavenly Father, yeah, how about should you have a shot to, to, to go along with that? Bro, because Jake is smart, bro. There's a lot of smart Jake out here, bro, in the world, bro. There's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Bright people, bro. I got a, uh, Salak, I got precept to what you just said because. You say it's a lot of smart jakes out here. This it is, is bro. But if you ain't giving that glory to the heavenly Father, right. you know, you know, to, to, to go with that 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 yeah. wisdom that you have, that knowledge that you have, then we're gonna go like the brother said. It's vanity, bro. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty-seven, verse nineteen. 
there is one that is wise and teaching many, mm-hmm. and yet it's unprofitable mm-hmm. to himself. Mm-hmm. So you and hey, the Lord could just use you to teach and, and uh, basically lift somebody else up, you know. Mm-hmm. And then the Lord could just do away with your ass. Like it happened plenty of times. The brothers come into the truth, uh, uh, bring forth some fruit, and then they'll get weary, and then they'll right. end up going back into the world. Right. Quick for that. Second Timothy three and seven, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge. Mm-hmm. All that reading, but not you know learning of the wisdom of your whole bunch of down the Yeah, like I said, that's cool to learn. Yeah. You know, to, to, to get the smart Jake's out here. Jake, the, the brother in the in, in Detroit, he was going to be a doctor. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what he in college for. I mean, I think he's still in college, if I'm mistaken. You know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. I, I know the pandemic and shit going on. You know, well, if you ain't reverencing the heavenly father, your how about shit, man, how about like the brother just said, it's it, it, it vanity, man. It's, it's a waste of time. Yeah, it's wicked, know. like the brother said. It, it, it's wicked, right? But you giving that glory to him. But but basically, unto yourself, like, and that's what he reading you about eternity, bro. You giving that glory to yourself. You did this. I stayed up late nights. Who woke up? Who put the breath right. in your lungs? Right. 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 Who is the heavenly yeah. father? And, 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 and even it, but besides that, the heavenly father is putting your mind what you want to do before you do it. Right. The right. day why you sleeping. Right. So the Heavenly Father put the spirit on you to go into this, you know, this, this particular subject as, as deep as you do and to earn this degree in that. You know what I'm saying? And to start this bit right in the process and make it, you know? You got it out. Mm-hmm. Verse uh, 4 
it says, traitors, heedy, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. It's yeah, crazy. Love is a no, it's crazy. When you read this, like I said before, like you literally, this is real time. It's really happy. You can see it all over the place. Like you better say, go to social media. You see these scriptures real life. You can see it, man, playing out. It says, Verse 5, having a form of godliness, mm -hmm. but denying the power thereof. <laughs> having a form of godliness, but denying the know. power thereof, man. Know. You know? Christians love being. Yeah. They love to seem godly, and like they, they just so into this. Yeah. But then who, who the they Lord spew Lord. out their mouth? They spew out Jason out their mouth. That's not, that's not the Lord's name. All right, bro, go get the word godliness real quick. And, uh, hey, like, like, like the elder apostle Mark said, man, you, you so called Christians, y'all deserve to be in the false house with a straight jacket on, man. Because y'all believe in straight madness and don't give thorough, you know, critical right. thinking to what they really put their trust in. You seen that woman that played on that went yeah, viral, huh. acting all belligerent out there, yelling at her. Just because yeah, you I, increase I your volume doesn't mean that you're right. Yeah. I love God. I love God. And she, I mean, she just tried to outdo. And you ain't even supposed to be speaking as a woman. Spirit. Go ahead, bro. Okay, this is the definition of uh, dialogue. You say, you say, you say, you say, G2150, you say, be uh, It says reverence, respect, piety towards God. You know what yeah, right. You look at the word piety as well, it means uh, reverence for a higher yeah. power. Mm -hmm. There we go. Respect. So, you know what I'm saying? They have a, uh, what did he say? You that verse? It says, uh, uh, Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter three and verse five, having a form of godliness, mm -hmm. but denying the power of the This lines up perfectly with what Romans the tenth chapter. You know, mm -hmm. they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, that's exactly what people do. Like they, they have yeah. a form of it, like yeah. And yeah. with the Jake lesson yeah. yesterday, bro, right. uh, that's pretty beautiful, right. bro, because it's yeah. all crown. relating into right. He said it was a crown. Mm -hmm. He had a form of godliness. That's yeah. why he knew the scriptures. Yeah. He knew about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Ishmael, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was asking about we asked, I said, I said he was asking the question. We I said, said did, the, the did Hagar no remember I said did Abraham kick Hagar and Ishmael yeah, out? Yeah, he yeah. said no. She went he went with him and built some city. I said yeah, what? <laughs> but but the point is he had a form of godliness, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knew the scriptures. And he was like, Turk, take my crown off. I say, well, you, know, you can't lure us like that. We smarter than that. Yeah. Spirit said, let no man take that crown. So I know if I try to take it from your head, you try to fight like <laughs> He's an old he's 75. He tried to lure us, lure me in a fight like that. Take my head, go from the crown. The scriptures playing out before our eyes because we we witnessing these things on a day to day basis. That's right, bro. We are seeing these different events. You know, mm -hmm. like you were talking about this old follow yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, we seen it. Like I was trying to say, uh, we asked them uh, who did the lineage the blessing go to. That's mm -hmm. why I kept quoting in Genesis seventeen. You know, because yeah, Abraham he was a father of many, but that don't mean the blessing went to to all. The Lord still did bless Israel, yeah, though. Yeah. He did still bless them. But not with the 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 the, the blessing that Jacob had, right? Not the, the blessing that serving, him, having yeah. his brothers and servants and all the the things blessing, you know. Mm -hmm. Verse, uh, so yeah. and that's just that's a you know how our people are. Yeah. You know they have a form of godliness, but not giving reverence from the to the to the to the heavenly Father, man. Right. Second mm -hmm. like Timothy chapter three verse six. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captives. Silly, silly women. women. Uh -huh. that, that, that's the main one. Get the third yeah. person. Yeah. Silly, silly women. Silly women. Laden ahead. with sin. Laden with sin, right. Laden meaning great. So these women, I, I think the brother, he said he had the article of the pastor, right? It's mm -hmm. a woman. Oh, she yeah. sleep with men in her congregation. Yeah. Somebody she some happened to them niggas. Yeah. I forget specifically what her no blessing. She said we she healed them niggas yeah. when she had sex with them. These adulterous, sucky this demon. Yeah. Man, Lord, we don't let this video be checked for y'all. Yeah. 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 It was uh I remember uh when I first came to two hundred seven. Oh uh, my god showing us the video of the pastor, mm -hmm. you know, stick this thing to the uh inside the woman then. Mm. Then when 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 her waters came out, when, when she squirted, she was uh, she had basically said, "This is holy water, this is uh, the miracle." <laughs> then everybody clapped in the champagne oh, on the on the table in the back. Mm -hmm. Everybody clapped, taking pictures. And, uh, that's all about it. That was righteous. Mm -hmm. well, they were doing that in the time of uh, Yahweh shot. That's why he said the nigga lace about to hate. 
And the Nicolaitans was basically uh, an ancient world form of Christianity. Mm -hmm. It was just more blatant with the blasphemy that was doing. Yeah, right. shit was more uncensored back then. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything's censored now. You know what I'm saying? Be having sex in a shower outside, you know? You know what I'm saying? Doing shit in a temple, you know what I'm saying? One of the reasons the Lord got had the temple get grass that, you know what I'm saying? And you going to touch it. The dig is doing that type of behavior even in the, in the temple, bro. Right? It's complete wickedness. Yeah. But in particular, who Paul was speaking about, though? Yeah, read one more time. Right? Yeah, one more it's time. Second like Timothy chapter three and verse six. Mm -hmm. For this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, mm -hmm. laden with sins, mm -hmm. led away with diverse lusts, mm -hmm. ever wow. learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And brothers, you're saying about the uh, like this, never able to come to the truth. Mm -hmm. right? They ain't learning, but mm -hmm. they ain't all the way there. They don't got that. Verse 20. Before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. So, hey, man, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to examine ourselves so when that day do come, the Lord can have mercy and compassion for you. You know, hey, that's what Jack's supposed to be doing as a whole nation, examining themselves. And checking themselves, man. You gotta check yourself for the Lord checking you. You don't want the Lord to check you, man. And when the Lord do it, He's not gonna talk to you. He's not gonna counsel you. He's gonna judge you. Uh, hey, well, mm -hmm. As you move your body go astray, so being returned, seeking ten times more, man. So that's what we do it. I don't know, but it's having good. Yeah, that was yeah. it. You know. Yeah. So with that, hey, we pray this is edifying. We give all glory and praises to you. How my shun, how shun, my shun, kapadash. The bond city of positive elders, yeah. great millstone, yeah. rule well, peace and salutation, blessing to the Akim. Push this word of truth, sincere, shallow on. Shalom. 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 Shalom.